welcome to the Series 14 Autumn Festival playlist. As usual, I'm going to show you the Fortaton and also the cars being used in the championships. Now let's have a look at the Fortaton shop. We have the new the new Austin Martin. Well, it's not new, but it's a new car from a few weeks ago. The GT4 door, some clouds, and then the wheel spins. Now let's have a look at the Fortaton. We need to own and drive the 2014 Lambo Hurricane. That I'm already in that car. I tuned the car for driving and drifting. It's like a drive drifting tune. So what do we need to do? We need to earn a wrecking ball skill. We need to have 1 million skill points. Um, that's in total, so it doesn't matter pretty much. And we need to drive 8 miles. Now the wrecking ball skill, that's... What you need to do is, you need to find a fence and you get the wreckage, but you need to do it, you see, great, and then you will get uh, the ultimate, and then after that, you will get the wrecking ball, but just make sure you just keep doing it after each other. And then it will come. Now, for the skill, what you can do is either you go on the uh, on the highway, but I always go, I just find it more fun to do, I always go here at the Greendale airstrip. And I just do that route that I always do, that everything comes back. Um, so it's, that is not really that boring. So I just do it here. You can put the car in fourth gear and you can just drift it. Now, do not forget, if you have enough uh, perks, put everything on the car because the multiplier goes to 6 here. Otherwise, it's going to take uh, very long to actually get the million uh, score. And then I just do this route. And I stopped at about 150,000 because if you have all perks on the car, just the points keep counting. So you don't need to get to 166,000. 150 is normally enough. Then we need to drive 8 miles. Well, that you can just do on the highway. Okay, let's have a look at the trial. Now at the trial, the car that I use for that. Let's have a look. Now I tested several cars. I tried to use a Mosler, the Ferrari uh, F50 GT but mm, I didn't like it there was sliding too much so I got the car that actually is still the best car and that would be the Boonigan Ford RS200 that's a very good car um, for the trail it's very grippy and I would suggest using that car now the car that we win is the new Volkswagen. It's not of my favorites yet. And it's this one. I'll take it out. So as you can see, this is the new car that we win from the trial. It's the first time I sit in it. I guess we need to have a look at the tuning of this car. There's a massive spoiler. Oh my god. But looks cool, so we gotta look into that. Okay, let's continue. Now, here at uh, the playgrounds, what do we need? We need a retro sports car A800. It's at the quarry. It's located here. Uh, where was the quarry? Oh, there it is. Now, I also tested a few cards for that. Um, there was only one car that I actually really liked. It's fast and grippy. And that would be this one. The BMW Z3. I had no problems with that car at all. It's fast, grippy. Uh, that's it for that. Now, what do we win? We, we win that dance thingy or emoto, how do you call it? Uh, that you see on the picture. The bad dance now let's continue the autumn community championship 
Now, I'll be very honest. The first blueprint was very annoying. I do not understand why Playgrounds put that in this. And it's every week. There are blueprints that you think, why are you putting that in? Now, I did the second race. And I'll be very honest. I was really annoyed about that. that about that blueprint. It just... I really don't understand why blueprints like that get into a festival playlist. It's like if you, it's, you really want to annoy people if you put those first two blueprints in a festival. Playgrounds, please check the blueprints and make decent blueprints in the festival. I'm not even sure if I'm going to actually do this championship again because it really annoys people. And I'm not the only one that got annoyed. A lot of people got annoyed about it, so please stop putting blueprints like that in a festival race uh, playlist. Now, the car that I used was... There are two cars I tried, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing it. That one car that I used was... But it's, it's mm, not that interesting. The Toyota Bia truck. And then I switched over to the Jeep Trailcats. And yet I still had problems doing the blueprints, the first two. So I'm probably going to have a look at another car that is more heavier because there are like so many jumps and so many bumps in the first two blueprints that uh, I'm probably going to search for another car. But I'm really not happy about that. And I, I, just, I just need to tell it that it's uh, a little bit too much over the top this one okay let's go to this one we need an s1 900 country italy uh oh, i forgot to say something the here you can win the jeep wrangler dd as you can see still on my uh picture okay back to this one this one is Italy S900. Now, you have two cars that you can choose from. Now, I personally took this one because I really like that car and it's also very grippy on the rain. So that's my first choice. Now, you would say, yeah, but the Bagani is the best choice for like an online adventure like this one. Yeah, you can also use that one, but I just really like and it's also very expensive. So I did prefer to go to the Alpha. It's also way cheaper and it's grippy. Now, what can we win from that? We win this Alpha here, the Forza edition. Okay, let's go to the next one. The Eurobeat. We need Retro Saloons A800. Now, the car that I use for that, I'll show you quickly. I'll go to the Retro Saloons. Now, there's also a Sierra. That's probably also a good car, but I use this one, the Mercedes. I was very surprised about the grip and the acceleration that car has and the cornering. So I'm sticking to that car because I find it very easy to drive that car. And the car that we can win from that is the Mercedes. It's the E. There you go. This is the car that we can win. That car once was very rare, but now not anymore. Okay, let's have a look at the PR stunts. The PR stunts are not that hard to do. As you can see here, you just start from this side. Well, I started from this side. I used my muzzle for that. Now I'm in this car, but I'm not going to try that because I have no idea how the car will react. So, well, I just keep using my muzzle for some reason because I really like that car. So I started from here. You 
And there you go. That's all you need. Now let's go to the other one. Um, I'll go to this one first because I need to switch car. Now here I also use the muzzler. Now, to be honest, if you put traction control on, on the muzzler, it will drive way easier. As you can see, I don't have traction control or stability, but yet it's fast enough to do this one. Now, for this one here, I used my Hoonigan. The S2 version, this one. Let's have a look. I put everything back on and then I just go to the influence board. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Where is oh there it is. So I just came from here. Oops. Well that went wrong, but it's like in every video when I do uh <laughs> the danger sign it goes wrong. Give me a second. There you go. And that's more enough to have that one. Now you can also uh, go straight on that danger sign, but for, you can do it from the influence board if you do not miss it. Now, that's all. Um, it's actually the first time I do not have 100% complete on my video. Well, besides this one, but uh, the community race, just community championship, just it's it's way too annoying i probably will do it somewhere in the week but uh, i'm not gonna leave it for now now as you can see 50 percent we have the mini the john cooper works and at 80 percent the kunig tech one and here well that's always the same for the whole month you do the rivals also one time and if you are ranked in this online adventure, you also need to do it only once in a month. Okay, that's it. For this seasonal, I'll be there on Saturday to help. I guess there will be people that need help with the trial and stuff like that. So we will be there again on Saturday. And during the week, I'll be streaming on Twitch also. So it would be cool if you guys would come see on Twitch. Thanks everyone, I hope the video will will help you get everything from the festival playlist and I will see you later. Bye bye.